Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial and today I got a super exciting topic which is accessors. Wow that is yeah that's super interesting. Um, so <laughs> is this kind of a boring topic? Yes it is but is this uh, kind of important to understand because this is quite uh, really really useful stuff? Well then I would say with a double yes also. So boring but still necessary to understand so if you want to join me on this super exciting roller coaster of accessors for data structures and arrays well then stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing uh, why not consider then sharing liking and subscribing my stuff Alrighty, completely messed up my intro but never mind me so what are accessors and what are data structures and arrays so that stuff hopefully is already something which you know so data structures can be can be lists maps or grids so grids is basically just a 2d excel spreadsheet and then we got our arrays and then structs structs i'm not gonna go into because they got constructors and all that shabam not for today's tutorial so let's go into the thing so basically we just drag and drop uh, get some stuff and make some exercise for this super super interesting thing so what do we do well first of all let's say we have a ds list now we have created it this is how we formally say to game maker studio hey dude i want to have a list store it into this variable and i want to add my laundry in there so you just say ds list add and then add some stuff so let's copy paste that Ooh, uh, copy paste that correctly get some eggs get some butter get some weatherstone and some oranges and this is basically my laundry list for tomorrow or so so basically if you uh, come on come on want to add something to this empty list you just say like hey uh, the id so basically the list and then the entry which you want to have and then um, the next entry will go and the next so a normal thing for example if you just say like hey i want to access something and show it for that for example we could have a variable just say get me that value and then we would say ds list and then find and then for example position and then we just say like hey what do we want to have from where well from this list and then this position and this for example would be hopefully you understand zero one two and three so for example if you just like three as a value boom then we can just say like hey uh let's show me that so show this is of course super interesting stuff message string so basically we could do this and then for example once we started we would access um, this value which is in number three so zero one two three so it should be showing oranges so let's see and it pops up created with game maker studio three oranges so this is how it works so let's get rid of that because this is then this is the interesting part so for example if you just say uh, show message it will before the game start and make a pop-up and then start your actual game so if you want to block your game here it goes of course this is a little bit clunky to use so how could we actually make this easier for that we have accessors yes we just say ds list make some square brackets okay make some square brackets here we go and then we got those accessor uh i don't know signs or whatever you want to call them did i close it no of course i did not so for example for our ds list is this uh line which is vertical so let's create one and then for example we say the entry is zero and then for example once we would start that of course then as you can see this value is getting overwritten it should show two x and as you can see hopefully a little bit small two x so the same thing would be for example for ds map ds grid and ds array so basically if you're creating uh, for example your ds map your grid or maybe your array then you have different kind of uh, a syntax for example for the ds list it's this vertical line then a uh, question mark is for the map for grid is the hashtag and for array is Klammer alpha would be the German word for that. Of course, um, add would be the English equivalent to that. So, for example, um, 
let's say you have an array or you have different kind of array so let's call let's say you have an array uh, your laundry list and then for example you got some entry points at the index one two or maybe 55 and then you're just saying like mm, i'm not sure what's on 55 so let's uh, do this so get rid of that dude so we can ju just say like hey our get value is then once again uh, this array but on a specific point and then for example to access this array now we are cheating a little bit we're using the klammer affe <laughs> and then say uh, 55 here we go and then for example once we start that thing it would show the entry point which is at 55 of our array laundry list and as you can see zeppelin so here we go this is uh get away so basically this is excess stuff faster and for example if you don't know where it is or if it's not if you're just unsure then these are shorthand ways uh, to access stuff. of course you can just go with ds list find value this list and that or you just do this dude here and boom you get it faster done and this is basically the idea behind the accessors you and here comes the big drum roll da -da -da -da. you access stuff all right that was pretty much it the whole thing for that part of course here later on we will go into structs i guess i do it in another video where you create stuff as entry points and as you can see the syntax is a little bit different so uh double point and then a, a normal comma and so on what is that well here we can access stuff also but then we are dealing with constructors and so on a little bit more advanced stuff but very useful for inventories and uh, more complicated data structures which are then lightweight Alrighty, that was it from my side hopefully you enjoyed this super exciting this amazing uh accessor so <laughs> if you're still around well applaud it um you can give yourself a, a big uh, high five or self high five because you made it to the one of the most boring topics but one of the most essential topics also have a good one one up indie